two, one. All right, pause that. Before we get into this video, I just want to ask everybody, what would they like to see for my upcoming parkour verse video? Should it be parkour versus thief or these other things that I can't think of right now, but these? I'll put a poll up on the screen, let me know, and the most voted one I will have done Monday. Yeah. What I'm thinking is I can probably do one or two special videos a month, like parkour versus videos. Just let me know, and then I can get them done really quickly. It's just a matter of me figuring out what those videos are. But anyways, pause, and we will get back into this. So I want to start off this video with a front flip off of this because I did it on the shed in the summer, but this one, I think it's a little bit higher, and I, I wanted to do it last winter, but I never did it. I chickened out, but now I have these things on things on and I can grip onto the floor a lot better. It's just about thinking like what's what's gonna happen if I don't actually land the front flip perfectly. It might hurt my butt a little bit and I might do a bit of a face plant. It's not that big of a deal. I think I'll probably start off here and then maybe go up a little bit higher. You do remember? I don't even know if it can see me over the well but keep in mind I haven't warmed up or anything at all. Most likely not gonna be the best. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. I would have liked to roll out of it, but I kind of got lost. Without warming up, that was definitely a lot of impact too. One more time. That was much better. I'm gonna do a flyaway and then a reverse and then possibly try another flyaway that I haven't done before. Oh, it's quite slippery. That's really cool. Yeah, I definitely don't have any grip. I don't really have a control of when I let go. Watching it back, I see I didn't get my feet quite high enough. I want to see if I can get at least a solid. You can tell that I was about to land it. My hands and wrists, pain. Ah, rain. Hey, that hurts. Wrap God. I'm swinging kind of wrong, I'm pretty sure. Cuts on my wrists and stuff. My power gave out there, but I still went for it, so. Ow. First challenge is going to be jump over the barbecue. What would you rate Kyle's jump on a scale? 50 pounds or maybe 35? I'd give it about a 30 grams. Okay, so first trampoline session of 2020. I had to shovel out a huge amount of snow yesterday. The trampoline was super, super sagging in, so it definitely got the working in that it needed to get more bouncy. And it's really cold out. It's not a nice day out at all. Hopefully I can get some spinny things down. If not, whatever. I don't really notice the difference in height, but who knows, it could be bouncier. Looks like my GoPro just up and died. So time to get another battery. Good thing I had it charging. I guess I wish I knew how to do my spins, but every time I try to do it, in my head it just gets very confusing and then I end up going way too far back. Twenty-five likes for me to do a front flip out of the net onto the ground. So 
So it's a new day and I got a grapple hook and it's actually warm out. Like the sun is actually like piercing through my skin and making it warm. So I haven't done a video in a really long time. So I apologize for that. But for now, I want to use the grapple hook, swing it up into that little notch up there, get it latched in and then maybe do some, that might be hard to get it out of once I get it up there. That might be hard to get it out of once I get it up there. That's exactly what I didn't want to have to do. This tree should work better. I'm gonna be tired of just going up to get the grapple hook and not actually swinging from it. I moved the grapple hook, so now it should be in the best spot to climb or swing. Oh, spanks me. Hopefully, I'll be able to do something. I can't even explain how happy I am with how warm it is, though. I'm wearing this. I'm not even cold. I'm actually still probably on the more warm side. Okay, I fixed the rope so that way it's not dragging, but I've kind of like doubled my chances for my feet to get caught in it. Doesn't look as crazy on camera. It is pretty high once you swing up there. 10 feet off the ground, probably. So I think if I get my rotation straighter and talk better. stick would break eventually. Now I have a new stick and a little run up here that I've just created. This should be a pretty crazy swing now that I've added all this. The reason why I haven't been able to do very much on that rope swing is just because you have to crumple up so far in. It just feels really weird from what I'm normally used to with flyaways. Plus, you gotta run into it, so it's a lot of hanging on to. If we pass that 25 light goal, though, I will do flyaway from like the highest I can go and then reverse flyaway too. I'll get maybe uh, some friends with me to do that, as well as the front flip out of the trampoline net. That'll be good too. That's quite high. But for right now, I'm gonna try this front flip over top of this hill. An eight feet gap, plus you gotta jump high over it, so I'm gonna try that. Apparently it doesn't look overly big on camera, but it felt big to me. I'm gonna do it one more time just to get it better. That's one thing I do need to work on is my front flip over top of stuff, so like rails. I'm really not good at that. All right, I'm gonna try a bit of like a running side gainer now. I have to jump kind of into the snow, start my jump there because it's all ice on the driveway. better. That's a landing. Before I end the video, I'm gonna do this dive roll over this thing down the hill and then I will end off the video. That's what I should do every video is do like one crazy dive roll. One thing about all the snow, you don't really have to worry about your technique for dive rolls. It's just all soft. But that's gonna have to wrap it up for this video. I hope everybody did enjoy this one. A lot of random stuff, just little challenges here and there, new stuff. Look at the grass under that trampoline. That is a good sight to see. But be sure to like, dislike, comment, share with your friends, or don't. And I'm gonna have to see you in the next video.